Ashari from Little Blue Deer Design and today I'm going to show you a couple of quick steps that you can take to make sure that your WordPress website is GDPR um, safe and that you're adhering to the new General Data Protection Regulation Act requirements. Right now those are only valid in Europe but it certainly can't hurt to do them. Um, here because if you're a blogger particularly you probably have European readers uh, as well. So I just want to share a few quick tips that you can go through um, to check on your GDPR compliance. This is by no means comprehensive. Little Blue Deer is not responsible for any of these or for your failure to adhere to privacy policies but I just wanted to share a few tips to get started. So first of all um, Automatically, you will get a privacy page. Um, it's going to look something like this. Uh, if you have updated your version of WordPress to the very latest version of WordPress, the newest version of WordPress includes privacy policy. So what you want to do first is go to your dashboard, click on updates, and this is where you can always check for theme updates, um, different kinds of plugin updates, etc. Always a very good idea to keep your blog updated. It'll keep it running smoothly and safely. So I have the latest version of WordPress. That's 4.9.6. Um, if you do not have the latest version of WordPress, when you go to updates, it'll let you know and you can click to update. I highly, highly recommend that you have site backup installed with your host. This is not through WordPress, this is through your host. Uh, updates to WordPress change the database, and it's just always a good idea to have site backups. Usually that runs two or three dollars a month with your site. So you can make sure that if you happen to run a WordPress update and you have any problems at all, you can restore your site back to a previous version. So once you have that and you're updated, you will notice when you go to settings that there's a new there's a new tab called Privacy. So you can click on that. This was not there before. And I have already created my Privacy Policy page, but if you want to create a new Privacy Policy page, you can simply click Create New Page and you can choose the page that you want to use. I've created my Privacy Policy page already. Um, you can create new page and what you will get um, on this page, which will appear at if you choose privacy policy as your page, um, it's going to appear at your domain name backslash privacy hyphen policy. You will get some boilerplate. Um, this is just basic information on privacy policy. Um, you're required to have it on your site. You might need to change it. Um, your actually your web address will be generated automatically this part by WordPress, but you might want to um, go through and change some of this if you want to. Uh, of course, your styling will look different, just dependent on your theme. But once you have your privacy policy, you probably want to show it somewhere on your site, a link to it that's kind of prominent. I have chosen to put my privacy policy right down here below my Instagram feed in the footer. Please take a moment to review our privacy policy. Some people might also want to have it as a menu dropdown. I have a mega menu on my blog, but a general um, menu dropdown is when your, your sub menu items will drop down off of the text here. So I'm gonna show you really quickly um, how to do that and also keep in mind that I have a whole page of tutorials at littlebluedeardesign.com backslash WordPress hyphen tutorials and I have a tutorial on how to manage your WordPress menus. So if you want to use that tutorial, you can search on my site and come right to it because it actually walks you through how to add sub pages. Most people maybe don't want the privacy policy to be one of their top links, but you want to add it as a page. So all you need to do is go to appearance, menus, in your blog dashboard and as you can see um, we have our main pages here and then sub pages so as you can see your pages show up here at the top if you wanted to add your privacy policy um, maybe under your about you would just click privacy policy add to menu and if you scroll down to the bottom here you're gonna see that it shows up here 
and then all you would do would be to drag it wherever under whichever menu item you want it to appear as a child item about and then just be sure to save your menu so that's the first thing this will ensure that you have a privacy policy installed on your blog and that it is viewable either from the menu or the footer there's a million different places um, that you could add it uh, you could also go in your dashboard to um, appearance widgets and I have many plugins installed on my blog and sometimes I have a hard time getting around we're not going to save that because I've already got my menu in the footer but if you go to appearance widgets this will take you to your widget areas so one other place that you might want to add a link to your privacy policy could maybe be um, in one of your footer widgets. It just depends on your theme. All themes are different, but that's an option as well. So another thing that you might want to do is Jetpack now offers, and it's not going to show up um, on my blog because I've already been logged into it, but you might have seen um, cookie policies that show up in the footer of the blog asking saying that you collect cookies on your blog and that asking if the user accepts these cookie policies so I wanted to share if you have Jetpack also how you can add your cookie policy and if you do not have Jetpack once again in my handy dandy WordPress tutorials um, I have how to connect WordPress Jetpack and this is a tutorial that shows you how to connect Jetpack to your blog. It's really um, got a lot of nice features and it can be really helpful. So let's see. We have, I can't remember exactly where it is, so we're going to find it. Um, this is a new add on um, through Jetpack and it might actually be. Actually, I'm ill prepared for this tutorial. I don't think that you have to even activate it here. Um, publish post by sending email. So if you have Jetpack installed, um, you can go ahead and go to Appearance Widgets. And I apologize for that, but I think that it actually appears automatically. If you have Jetpack, you will see something called Cookies and Consents Banner. So, if you want to use the Cookies and Consents banner and add it to your site, you can add it to any widget area. I've added it to a footer widget area. And you just simply drag it over into your widget area. You can choose the text. I chose the default text. You can paste in your privacy policy link here. Remember, this is our privacy policy page, so you want to just paste that link here. Um, you can change the link text the button text. You can also show how long the banner is going to stay, when it expires, and you can pick a light or dark color scheme. Um, it's not the greatest color scheme. Um, you know, if you have a blog designer, you could hire someone to do some customization. I just choose the light and I think it looks just fine. Um, and when you save that, you will get, and you need to be logged out of your site to view that, you will see on your site, at the bottom of your site, a little banner that says, cookie consent policy, do you accept, etc. That's just one more step that you can take. It only comes, there we go, it only comes with Jetpack and it's going to look something like this. So you agree to the use of cookies and close and accept. Okay, and the last thing that I'm going to show you now is on the blog, um, you might have noticed on your blog posts, and once again, you will only see this if you're logged out. You will not see this if you're logged into your dashboard. So maybe open up a new browser window that you're not logged into your blog. And you're going to see um, save my name, email, and website in this browser for the next time I comment. This is a new thing from WordPress with the latest update. So that's going to be there automatically. One more thing you might want to add um, to your comments form is this little bit of text that says privacy policy info I've read and accepted the privacy policy all right this is going to appear right after the comments okay so if you want to add this to your blog all you have to do is find this plugin WP comment policy checkbox okay and what you can do um, probably the easiest thing with plugins is not to have to download it and then 
uploaded again, um, it's best to just install them and it's easiest to just install them right directly through your WordPress dashboard. So what you're going to go do is go to plugins, add new, and then you're going to search WP comment policy checkbox. Okay? So you've searched that. I already have it installed, so I'm not going to install it, but you'll see it. You know how to click install now and then activate. And then one thing I just want to show you where it shows up is if you go to settings discussion you will see down at the bottom where you can add your page to link to the privacy policy and then if you want to add any additional text that will show up here you can do that um, I didn't add any text I just put privacy policy and privacy policy info and there you have it. So once again, this is definitely not um, a completely comprehensive, there are so many plugins, um, many, many different ways of implementing the privacy policy. These are just a few very quick things that you can do to help ensure that your site is GDPR compliant. Just a note, right off the bat, if it is not for some reason, and for some reason it is flagged, then you will receive a warning and then they proceed with monetary penalizations. However, the first thing is a warning, so there's no need to panic, but we always wanna be as much in compliance as we can possibly be. So thanks so much for watching. Once again, you can always check out my tutorials, Little Blue Deer Design backslash WordPress tutorials. I have tons of them and a lot of other YouTube videos. So um, I appreciate you following me. Leave a comment with any questions. Thanks. Ha <laughs>